So I just spent thousands of dollars buying the most popular putting greens on the internet just to try to find out if lots of views actually mean if something's good. And we're gonna start out with a putting green that has the most realistic role of any putting green that I tested. It's the Birdie Ball Roll Tech Putting Mat. Now, this putting green uses a patented aerated foam technology, which replicates the grain and speed of natural grass. And the secret to this realistic roll all lies in its carefully engineered sub base. Now, this dense, spongy foam expertly mimics the soft root system of a well manicured putting green. And with the ability to perfectly lay flat, this putting green ensures a smooth and wobble free roll. Now personally, I think one of the coolest features of this mat is how it can actually simulate individual grass blades, thus allowing you to practice your putting both with and against the grain, which actually provides a remarkably true to life experience and your putts roll faster down the grain and then slower against it, just like on an actual green. With the birdie ball, you can select a mat with a stimp reading that actually matches the greens you typically play on. You can even use Birdie Ball Stip Maintenance Brush to fine tune the speed further by manipulating the grain direction. And if you want to practice more advanced shots, it also has optional accessories like shims that let you introduce breaks and contours into the surface. Now Birdie Ball offers putting mats in a range of sizes from a compact 1x10 feet up to 4x18 feet. And despite its realistic performance, the Birdie Ball mat is actually pretty lightweight and it's portable, and it can easily be rolled up for storage without compromising the flat surface. And when you're ready to practice, all you need to do is simply unroll the mat, which will lay down smoothly and flat, ready for action. While the Birdie Ball Rolltech Putting Mat is a great product, there are a few drawbacks that you guys need to be aware of. First up, it takes up floor space. Even the smaller Birdie Ball mats will take up a decent chunk of floor space. So you gotta make sure you have a dedicated spot where you can at least use the mat and practice at home. And lastly, you might find that the birdie ball does make a noticeable noise when the ball rolls across that texture foam surface. And if that bothers you or someone in your house, you can try to use a different ball just to kind of minimize the sound. So while it does take up a little space and upkeep, the birdie ball roll tech mat provides one of the most realistic and customizable indoor putting experiences in its price range and it can totally help your game. Now next up is something that's gained a ton of popularity in social media and it's used by many PGA Tour pros, including Dustin Johnson, who's the official ambassador for this product. We're talking about the Perfect Practice Putting Mat. Now this mat features a smooth, realistic putting surface made of a crystal velvet and felt turf that simulates the speed of natural greens. Now, depending on the surface underneath, the mat rolls anywhere between a 10 and a 14 on the stint meter. Now harder floors, it'll be faster, while thick carpet will slow it down. Now one thing I really like about it is it's precise printed alignment lines that will help you visualize the ideal putting path and make your stroke corrections. Now the mat also has two different hole sizes, a regulation and a smaller cup that's about two thirds of the standard size. And now this is used for more precision training. Now the perfect practice putting mat comes in a bunch of different sizes. With the nine foot six inch model being the one of the most popular for home uses, it allows putts up to eight feet in length. And honestly, the build quality of this thing is pretty awesome. The Perfect Practice Green features handcrafted wooden elements and a rubber back putting surface to keep it in place without really sliding around. When it's rolled out, it actually has an attractive professional appearance, which is suitable for a living room or your office. That's what I used to do. Now, while the Perfect Practice Putting Mat is a great product, there are a few drawbacks that you guys really need to be aware of. First off, it requires a very flat surface underneath I'm talking completely flat in order for the ball to roll true. Any unevenness in the floor can cause a subtle break, which then can mess up your shot. Next up is the ball return system. It can be a little consistent at times. Sometimes the balls will come all the way down, sometimes it'll stop halfway. It's just kind of all over the place. And lastly, it's the upslope on the hole, which requires you to hit putts that are a little bit harder than normal to reach, which could might ingrain an overly aggressive putting stroke when you transition back to a real golf course. Overall, the Perfect Practice Putting Mat looks great, rolls well, and really has all the helpful features like a ball return and alignment aids to help your golf game. However, it does require a very flat surface, has kind of an unrealistic upslope, and it does cost over 150 bucks. So just make sure that it fits within your budget before citing if this is the one for you. Next up is one of my favorite putting greens on the market because it's a turf green that closely replicates the feel and performance of real putting. 
It's the Birdie Ball Tour Grade Turf Putting Mat. Now, what sets this putting green apart is the quality of the turf itself. It's crafted from a premium, ultra durable nylon turf with a really ultra tight weave and a heavy face weight. Now, this construction gives golfers a smooth, consistent roll that mimics the behavior of a well maintained green found on most golf courses. Now, the turf is also green neutral, which means that the ball roll is not affected by the direction of the turf fibers which ensures a true roll regardless of the direction that you're putting in. Now regarding the speed, the Birdie Ball Tour Grade Turf Putting Green runs around 10 to 11 on the stint meter. Coming in sizes that range from one and a half feet wide to seven and a half feet wide, and lengths from eight to 18 feet, it is by far one of the largest you can buy on the market. Now this allows golfers to choose a size that best fits their available space and practice needs. And being a half inch thick, this putting mat has been designed to provide a stable, even surface for putting practice, regardless of where you put it. Now, what I like most about the Tour Grade Turf Putting Green is that it comes with a ton of additional accessories, including a regulation size cups and flags, six heavy duty rubber U bumpers to help stop the ball, and flush grass plugs that allow you to take a hole out of play. It even comes with a hole dampening shim that can be used to deepen the hole to a full inch deep or to create a break anywhere on the putting surface, as well as a hole reduction insert that helps reduce the hole size for added challenges. Now, while the Birdie Ball Tour Grade Turf Putting Green is a great product, there are a few drawbacks to it that you guys need to know about. First up is the price. While you get a high quality product, Birdie Ball mats are a little bit more expensive than some of the other putting match options on the market. Now, this cost may be prohibitive for some golfers, but you get what you pay for. Next up is the size and storing it. The larger size, like the 4x14 or the 4x18, provide a great putting experience, but it also requires significant floor space. So storing the mat when not in use could be a little challenging in some homes. Overall, the realistic performance, the customization options, and the convenience of the Birdie Ball Tour Grade Putting Mat makes it the excellent choice for players wanting to practice putting at home just as long as you're willing to invest a little bit in your game. Next up is a putting green that I thought I would not like, but was actually pleasantly surprised. It's the Well Putt Putting Mat. Now this was developed in collaboration with renowned coach Cameron McCormick, who also trains top golfer Jordan Spieth. The Well Putt Putting Mat offers a comprehensive putting training system with a true role and realistic fill. The mat provides a smooth, fast surface that emulates the speed and behavior of a real putting green, with a stint reader reading around 11. But what is so great about the well putt mat is that it's more than just a putting mat. It actually incorporates a variety of visual aids and training features to help golfers refine their skills. This mat includes alignment guides for proper body and putter positions. It has markings for help you with your length and your stroke and your consistency. It also features what's called a good zone, bad zone system to help to provide instant feedback on the quality of each putt. Now versatility is another key feature of this map. It's designed to be used in both directions with different training elements depending on the orientation. Putting towards the primary target cone helps golfers focus on their accuracy and their speed control while putting in the opposite direction provides drills for distance control and feel. But what I like most about the Well Putt is it's the companion mobile app, which is free, for both iOS and Android that offers 54 different practice exercises and challenges. These drills are designed to keep training sessions engaging and fun while helping golfers track their progress. The app also allows users to compete with their friends or other well put users worldwide. Available in 10 feet and 13 feet length, the well put mat is easy to set up and store. It rolls out flat quickly. It requires very little time under weight to kind of remove any curling at the edges. In terms of cost, the well put mat is Price similar to other premium putting mats on the market, with the 10 foot version retailing for about 199 bucks and the 13 foot version for 250. Now, while the Well Putt Putting Mat is a great product, there are a few drawbacks that you guys need to be aware of. At 10 to 13 feet long, the Well Putt requires a lot of space to unroll fully. You'll need a large indoor room to be able to set it up and use it effectively. The mat has a lot of markings on it too, and alignment guides, which is great but it could look busy at times, and if you don't really fully understand it, you're gonna get really confused. Now lastly, to get the full benefit of the Well Putt Mat, it requires a dedicated practice and following the training programs. Now casual golfers only practice every once in a while, may see less improvement, or stay motivated to use it. Now the Well Putt is a premium putting mat that's just loaded with useful practice features. However, to really unlock its full potential, it requires ample space, 
a significant budget, and a committed work ethic to get it done. Now next up is a putting green that I feel is one of the coolest and most technologically advanced on the market. It's the putter putting mat. And we all know that practicing putting at home can be a little boring. And this is where the putter comes in. The putter is an innovative AI powered putting mat that makes practicing with your putting fun and more of a game. This innovative putting mat is 11 feet long and rolls out from a sleek metal compact box. And it has 27 different marked putting locations, left, right, and center at distances from three to 11 feet, which helps you with your practicing. However, what really sets the putter apart is the advanced technology that's integrated into the system. It has built-in cameras that actually track and analyze every putt. The mat connects via Bluetooth to a smartphone app that provides real-time feedback on key metrics like ball speed, angle of entry into the hole, and whether the putt was made or missed. Now this detailed data helps golfers identify tendencies and weaknesses in their putting game. Now in addition to tracking performance, the putter app offers a wide variety of games and challenges and drills, which many have a social competitive element that makes practicing fun and engaging even for non-golfers. Classic games like whores, cricket, around the world, even beer pong have been adapted for putting. Now it can play up to four players and you can all compete against one another. However, for those who are more serious about the game improvement, Putter provides what's called a Putter Handicap. Now this tracks your progress over time. Worldwide leaderboards let you see how your skills stack up against others. And the app suggests personalized drills and routines to target your specific areas for improvement. Now if you have a premium subscription, it actually unlocks additional features like AI video analysis and access to online tournaments. Now in terms of the hardware, the Putter Mat is high quality that provides a smooth, true roll that is very close to a real putting green. It's rolling around about 11.5 on the stint meter. While not quite as realistic as some of the other premium putting mats on the market, it is among the best for a carpet-like surface. Now, the mat quality could be a little bit better. While the mat rolls out well, it's not quite as true as some of the premium putting mats we've talked about before. And lastly, it's a slight incline at the hole. Like most putting mats, putter has an incline up to the hole for the ball return to work. Now some golfers may not love this uphill slope as it doesn't feel quite as natural as playing to a hole in the level ground. For me, I don't really care. Now putter is a significant investment considering that more than a standard putting mat. However, with the amount of technology and the features that are packed into the system, it's quite unique. The ability to make solo practice actually fun is a major selling point. I feel like putter has found the rare balance of being both a serious training aid for dedicated golfers and an entertaining group activity for you and your friends. So if you're looking for a really cool item, you gotta check out the putter putting mat. Now I often get asked what putting green or hitting turf should I buy for my simulator space? And honestly, I spent years trying to figure this out, but little did I know that I would find the solution now. If you're looking for the best putting green for a golf simulator, then you should really look no further than the birdie ball tour grade simulator turf putting green. Now essentially, this is just a huge birdie ball tour grade tour putting green designed for golfers who are looking to perfect their short game from the comfort of their own home, but in their simulator. And honestly, it gives you the best of both worlds. A high quality hitting turf for your golf simulator and a true roll putting green that actually rivals a real deal. Birdie Ball's tour grade simulator turf green features an ultra tight weave and heavy face weight, which results in the most accurate roll possible of any artificial surface. The grain neutral surface delivers a consistent 10 to 11 on the stint meter, which mimics the speed of your well-maintained greens at your local club. Now the turf is also a full half inch thick, which allows your ball to fall into the cup without any artificial ramp or incline. Now the cups are regulation size, four and a quarter inch in diameter, and installed flush with the surface for an authentic experience. Now while the turf does lay perfectly flat for a consistent roll, Birdie Ball does offer optional contour shims that allow you to introduce breaks and undulations into your putting surface, which will allow you to practice a variety of putts and dial in your green reading skills. But the true beauty of the birdie ball similar turf is its dual functionality. You can actually hit shots directly off the turf in your simulator setup, making it a perfect all-in-one solution for those tight on space. Or if you want to keep your putting surface pristine, birdie ball also offers a separate three x five hitting mat that can be placed on top of the putting green to protect it when you're using it as a simulator. This lets you easily switch between both full swing practice and putting drills in seconds. The best part is, is that it still looks really good too. Now while the Birdie Ball Tour Grade Simulator Turf Putting Green is a great product, there are a few drawbacks that you guys need to be aware of. 
First, it's the price. While you get a high quality product, birdie ball mats are a little bit more expensive than other simulator turf. So you gotta really weigh the options as to the cost because on some golfers, it might not be worth it. Next up is the size and storage. The smallest size is six by eight while the larger size is seven and a half by 18. It provides a great putting and hitting experience but also requires significant floor space. So storing the mat when you're not using it is pretty much not gonna happen. And last, there's no fringe or rough. The mat is excellent for putting practice and you can also hit your driver and your irons off of it. But there's no fringe or rough around the green, so you really can't be practicing your chip shots or your chip putts or whatever you really wanna do. But whether you're a weekend warrior looking to shave off a few strokes off your handicap in your garage, simulator, or a serious golfer with dreams of going pro, despite a few of these drawbacks, the birdie ball tour grade turf putting green is really the way to go. Now next up is a putting green that's made to practice those super long putts. It's the Pure to Improve 5.0 practice mat. Now the Pure to Improve 5.0 is long. I mean, really long. It measures 16 and a half feet in length and 26 inches wide, making it by far one of the longest mats available on the market. However, its main standout feature is its proprietary putting green surface, which is made of a soft carpet-like material with a rubber backing. This unique surface gives golfers a realistic sense of how their putts will roll on an actual green, allowing them to refine their technique precisely. Now the Peer to Improve also includes several visual aids to help golfers improve their playing technique. There are alignment lines and target zones that offer valuable feedback on the accuracy and the consistency of your putts, which enables you to understand and have a better idea how to read the green, and as well as align your putts. The Peer to Improve 5.0 practice mat is built to withstand regular indoor and outdoor use in terms of its durability. And setting up the mat is pretty straightforward. It comes in a compact rolled up form, making it easy to store when not in use. All you gotta do is simply unroll the mat, lay it flat on the surface, and sit your all set up. And the mat's back can help it lay flat and help to maintain its shape. While the Pure to Improve 5.0 practice mat is a good product, there are a few drawbacks that you guys need to be aware of. First off is the putting surface. It's slower and smoother than real greens, so the feel really doesn't translate perfectly to that of the course. The mat is also relatively narrow, and it allows very little room for error or practicing breaking putts. And also the rubber backing can cause the mat to shift around some floor surfaces, which requires you to readjust it if you're not too careful. However, with all that aside, the Peer to Improve 5.0 offers a convenient and cheap way to practice your putting at home or on the go. Next up is a putting green that is by far one of the most durable and really can be used on any surface. It's the Prime Putt Putting Mat. Now, developed through extensive research and collaboration with around turfgrass experts, material scientists, and PGA professionals, the Prime Putt is the ultimate putting mat for really anywhere you want to put it. With a stimp reader rating of 9 to 11, you can confidently practice your putts knowing that the rollout will accurately translate to an actual golf course. Now the Prime Putt offers three regulation size cup holes that you can insert into the surface, which helps to mimic a real green. Now what I like most about the Prime Putt is its wooden backstop, which is positioned at the far end to catch any missed putts and serve as a visual alignment aid. And it has printed alignment lines, which also help you develop a square setup and stroke. Now the Prime Putt does come in various sizes, which range from one and a half feet by nine feet to an expansive three by 15, which caters to different space requirements and practice preferences. And each mat is built to last with a durable thick construction and a rubberized bottom that ensures each mat stays securely in place during use, both indoor and outdoor. Now while the Prime Putt putting mat is a good product, there are a few drawbacks that you guys need to be aware of. First off, it's the cost. Prime Putt is a little bit pricier than most other putting mats on the market, which may be cost prohibitive for some players. Next is the lack of accessories. Now it does come with a wooden backstop and holes. I wish it came with shims and other things that make it a little bit harder to use the putt. And last but not least is the aesthetics. Now the aesthetics of the Prime Putt may not suit everyone. The Prime Putt mat has a clean minimalist look with a wooden backstop and simple holes. Now golfers who prefer a more colorful or decorative putting green for their home or office may find their appearance not something they're liking. So it all comes down to personal preference. But if you're a serious golfer looking for a putty mat made for any surface but are willing to pay a premium, then the Prime Putt is the one for you. Next up is what I consider one of the most budget friendly putting greens out on the market, the Putt Out. Now what sets the Putt Out mat apart is how it closely mimics in performance to that of a real putting green. The mat surface has a stimp reading at about a smooth 10, 
which replicates the speed of a typical medium to fast paced screen found on most golf courses. Now Putta achieved this authentic feel through some pretty clever engineering. The mat is actually constructed with an extra thick rubber backing that allows it to roll out completely flat and crease free every time when you unpack it. Now, there are no bumps or waves, just a pure uniform putting surface from end to end. At eight and a half by one half feet, this mat kind of hits a sweet spot for most indoor spaces. It's compact enough to fit comfortably in an apartment or an office, but also gives you ample length to practice a variety of different putts. And when you're done training for the day, the mat rolls up tightly into its included cardboard tube, which is just great. Now the putt out has a printed alignment guides and distance markings, which will help you dial in your aim and pace control. You'll find markers at the one foot increments all the way out to six feet, which allows you to systematically practice your putts at various lengths. And these alignment lines at the three, five, and six foot actually help you groove a square setup and straight back, straight through stroke path. And there's even a handy target at the end of the mat, which helps you to focus your aim. While the putt out medium putty mat is excellent, it's really designed to pair perfectly with the popular putt out pressure trainer. Now this unique device is shaped exactly like a regulation golf hole and rejects off-center putts. Now you combine it with the medium putty mat to test your accuracy and you'll be able to get instant feedback of all your misses. Now while the putt out medium putty mat is a pretty decent product, there are a few drawbacks that you guys need to be aware of. First off is its size. I mean, coming in between seven and a half feet, the mat may not be long enough for practicing those longer putts. And if you wanna work on lag putting or putts beyond the six foot mark, you might have to go to the larger putting surface. Next is the speed variation. The mat's speed can vary depending on the surface placed on, such as carpet or hardwood. The claimed 10 centimeter reading might not always be so accurate. So keep that in mind when you're practicing with it. And lastly, the lack of a hole or a cup. The mat doesn't include a built-in hole or cup for the ball to fall into. While you can use the markings to aim at a target, the satisfaction of sinking a putt into an actual hole is missing. Now, you could pair the mat with the putt-out pressure putt trainer for a more complete practice experience. So if you're a golfer looking for an affordable putty mat, which will really help you hone your skills, or a newcomer trying to establish a solid putting foundation, the putt-out medium putty mat really is a pretty good choice, just as long as you're okay with not having a hole to buy or to have to buy an additional product to use with your putting green. Now next up is a putting green that comes from a brand that knows all about training. And it's all under 50 bucks. It's the Skills Accelerator Pro putting mat. Now the Skills Accelerator Pro is one of the most compact, budget-friendly putting mats that I was able to find. Think of this as a no-frills version of the perfect practice putting green, which Made out of plastic instead of wood, this mat features prominent alignment guides at three, five, and seven feet. Now these visual cues allow you to perfect your aim, your backswing length, and your follow through, which helps build the muscle memory for a more accurate putting stroke. However, the best feature of this putting mat is its continuous automatic ball return system. After each putt, the ball rolls back to you. Even if you miss the hole, it rolls back to you. This allows you to stay in your putting float without constantly bending down to retrieve balls. Now the return track is adjustable so that you can practice putts from different distances and angles. And the Accelerator Pro does feature a slight incline that leads up to the hole, which encourages you to hit the ball a little bit harder in order for the ball to go in. Now at nine feet long, the Accelerator Pro provides ample space to practice a variety of putts from short tap-ins to longer, more challenging shots. Now despite its size, the mat is compact and portable. Its rubber back surface allows easy storage, and it really can stay on any flat surface, including carpet, hardwood, tile. Now, while the well putt is a great product, there are a few drawbacks that you guys need to be aware of. First off is the incline is way too steep. So it's easier to make putts on this mat than it would be a natural green, which could ingrain bad habits. Next is the mat is rather thin, so on surface imperfection on the ground, it might affect the roll wherever it's placed, which if you put on carpet, it probably would work best. And last but not least, the plastic ball return track feels a little bit flimsy and the small connector pieces could get lost easily if you disassemble it and often for storage. So I'm not really a big fan of it. Overall, the Skills Accelerator Pro is a good entry level putting mat with a price tag of under 50 bucks, but with a steep incline at the hole that could teach you to hit a putt too hard and the build quality that also isn't the absolute best. While it is a great value, it may not be the most realistic practice tool for everybody. 
So you really need to consider your needs and your budget when deciding if it's right for you or if you'd rather upgrade, if you can afford it for another $100 and get the perfect practice putting green. Guys, I really hope you enjoy this one. If you can do me a favor, can you subscribe to the channel and like and comment down below what your favorite putting green is and why? Is it one I didn't even review or is it one that's on my list? But if you wanna see what happened when I tested out groove sharpeners on my wedges, then you have to check out this video right here. And I'll be sure to see you guys on the course.